does simulating murder in Manhunt 2 take gaming too far? Text my name and your take to 81818. Hey, I'm Callie, and this is What's Your Take? Your chance to text in your opinion on the headlines. So the rumblings this week are about Manhunt 2, a new game fittingly released on Halloween where the characters kill and torture in a myriad of ways. It's made for Sony PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, and Nintendo Wii. Now, based on the design of Wii, players will actually simulate the killing of their opponent. So does simulating murder in Manhunt 2 take gaming too far? Text my name and your opinion to 81818. As you can imagine, child advocate groups are urging parents not to buy the game based on what they perceive as gratuitous and even dangerous violence. In the company's defense, this is a free marketplace. They view this as creative expression, and the game is rated mature for audiences 17 and up. But we all know that doesn't mean too much. It's pretty easy for a younger friend or sibling to borrow a copy. So I want to know what your take on the controversy is. Does simulating murder in Manhunt 2 take gaming too far? Should it be allowed, or are you glad it hasn't been censored. Text my name, Callie, along with your comments to 81818. Again, include my name with your opinion and send that text to 81818. We'll have your responses on Friday afternoon. Thanks for joining me on this edition of What's Your Take? Now text away.